half a century since Broome's pearl divers gave up the bulky suits and heavy metal helmets for lighter, safer equipment. But a group of keen divers from Fremantle are working to make sure the old gear is preserved. Poolside at a Broome resort and the visitors are not in the usual swimming gear. Seven and a half kilo each of the boot and the whole system's about 80 kilos. Peter McMahon is a diver and history buff, keen not just to preserve the old suits, but to use them. It started in the 1860s. It went through to the 1970s, uh, early 70s, before they then moved into more modern diving methods and the hard hats became um, pretty well defunct by then. The group was in Broome for the town's Pearl Festival, giving tourists a chance to try out the suit. Ahmet bin Fadal knows them all too well. He started working on the luggers when he arrived from Singapore as a 22-year-old. He says he feared death every day. When they put helmet on, I thinking uh, dead or alive every day, dead or alive. In the 52 years to 1957, 182 broom divers died from the bends or asphyxiation. Ahmet bin Fadal, now 77, almost became one of them when a workmate accidentally turned off his oxygen. I feel this, my body like squeeze. And then after that, I see my mother face. But by the way, inside of my left shoulder, people set me from sleep. Decades on, he was keen to try on the helmet one more time. My memory come, you know, especially when I uh, have it after so many years, I carry the helmet. I'm very, very happy. The suit enthusiasts hope to make this taste of diving past a regular feature of the Pearl Festival. Cecile O'Connor, ABC News, Broome.